Um, so let's give it a few more minutes and then we will go ahead and get cracking. We have some guests on the line today. I love it. And um, yeah, I'm excited. What's up, Jason? Jason, so I wanted to know, I know you, you haven't got your hair cut since pandemic, which I'm all for. Um, is there a cutoff? Is there going to be a time where you say, you know what, I'm done? Or are you just going to keep it rocking for a while? This is a $60 haircut last week, bro. <laughs> no, did you really get a trip? Yep. You did? Yeah, dude. It looked like a dog on the floor. <laughs> and this is what I'm left with. It's still a wreck. <laughs> All right. All right. I, I think I, I like it. I like it. If I could grow my hair out longer, I definitely would. Um, but uh, are you going to go back to like the short and tapered anytime soon? Don't know. <laughs> I love it's it. Almost, Whoa, it's almost hair. snowboard season, so I might just let it ride, you know? Dude, I used to love snowboard season and then like my trucker hat backwards and then like the hair coming out the side. Like that was my thing back when I had hair. Fully frozen, right? Yes, yes. Well, I'm looking forward to snowboarding season. I think that we need to put a snowboarding trip on the books and go up there in caravan and just go up there and shred for the day. So, Please, can we do that? That would be fire. All right, so let me get some fire. let me get some boats on the screen here. If we were to do a day of skiing and snowboarding, who'd be down? Yes. Oh hell yeah! Okay, cool, cool. I love that. As long hey. as you teach me, Elias. As long as you guys teach me. Hey, listen. As long if it's a powder day, there is a rule on the mountain. There's no friends on powder days. So what? you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jason. No, nope. there's no friends on powder days. I'm just gonna go and shred and jump off some crazy stuff. Hey, you guys, I'm getting a little background noise. If I could have Pamela Quintana, please mute yourself. Pamela. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so, yeah. So, David, you're in. Uh, a couple other people in. I would definitely. Hey, Sandy, I know that you skateboard, um, but do you do you snowboard as well? Uh, I roller skate. I haven't been skateboarding much since I was like. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Roller skate. Why, why did I think skateboarding? Um, but um, uh, I do snowboard. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. I um, I'm very very excited. I spent eleven years of my life in Tahoe, and so I've been heavenly and and Sierra, my mountains. I've probably I want to say two hundred and plus days on those mountains collectively. Um, and, and I learned the hard way. My friends said, here's some pants, here's um, some goggles, here's your jacket. Took me up to the top of the mountain and it said, speed your friend. Bend your knees and speed your friend. I'm like, well, what do I do? That's it, bend your knees and speed your friend and we'll see you down the mountain. Like I never took a bunny run, never took a lesson. I literally got thrown right into the fire and had to figure it out. And probably for me, it was the best way to learn how to snowboard. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get cracking. It is officially 1035 on this beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. More people are coming in the room right now, but let's do this. We have some guests here today. So I'm gonna go over to one of our first guests. It's a, it's a guest of Jackie through our expansion team in San Diego. Uh, Keanu, do you wanna say a quick hello? All right, cool, we'll come back. Pamela, do you wanna say a quick hello? <laughs> Hey, I'm um, actually at work right now, so sorry oh, okay. if I didn't it. No worries. Well, welcome, welcome, and thanks for being here. Kiani, do you want to say a quick hello? Thank you. Yeah, hi, can you guys hear me? I can, but there's two devices, so you've got to cut one of them. There yeah. we go. Do you hear me now? Perfect, loud and clear. Better? Welcome. Okay, cool. Sorry, trying to figure out these computer things. Um, my name's Kiani uh, Rosa. I'm here in San Francisco. Um, Jackie was uh, reached out to me, was able to kind of get me into this meeting with you guys. Um, super excited to see what we do here, and um, yeah. <laughs> cool, awesome. Well, welcome. And and um, you know, I know getting through like the challenges of Zoom early on, it's it's a pain in the ass, but uh, we understand. And so, welcome. Um, what other guests do we have on the line? Kenny, I know that you have some guests on the line. Who else is here and is new to this environment? Let's go ahead and do some quick introductions before we get rolling. Me, right here. Kiran, is that yeah. you? Yeah, it's me. That's up, Kiran. We missed you last week you, by a couple of minutes. Uh, I know yeah. you're on me last week. I came in, I think, right at the last person when they were talking about their, you know, introduction. 
So yeah, my name is Kern. I just joined Team Fast. I went to the office yesterday. Great vibe out there. Met a couple of people. So yeah, I'm ready for the journey at Team Fast. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, welcome. He's already came to coaching. Um, he's already here at the meeting. So my man, um, you know, way to, way to come out of the gate swinging. Who else do we have as a guest here on the line today? Anybody else? Hi. Hi, who's that? Hi, this is Jim Solis. Jim, welcome, my brother. How are you? Yeah, I don't think I had a chance to introduce myself last week when I was online, but I uh, want to take this opportunity to introduce myself this week. Uh, I wrote a little bit of something in ante anticipation for, uh, for this introduction. So okay, cool. if you don't mind, I'm yeah, going to yeah, read it to you. Take it away. Uh, hello, my name is Jim Solis spelled like in my email, Jim Real Estate Sales, S-A-L-E-S at gmail.com. Uh, I, I created that email because I wanted to convey my passion for all things real estate, from sales to in investing, design, and construction. I was a data analyst for Kaiser Permanente for 27 years before I decided in 2016 to early retire and pursue my lifelong dream of doing real estate full time. I started at Better Homes and Gardens at Grand Lake in Oakland, then moved to a, a one agent brokerage, and then finally to new home sales. Um, I've done open houses in Castro Valley, Hayward, Walnut Creek, San Francisco, Fremont, Milpitas, and even one in Sacramento. Um, and I sold homes in San Leandro and Richmond. Um, uh, on a personal note, two tragedies, uh, the pandemic and the senseless death of my son in 2020 affected me and my business severely. Uh, it brought me to a deep state of depression. Uh, when I was also faced with the decision of whether to renew my license or not, I believe I was called to renew. And it was like a shout from heaven and an answer to my prayers to not only help me bring me back to my passion for real estate, but to also save my soul. So with that, I'm truly blessed to have found the outstanding team at Fast Real Estate and be on the lookout for the revitalized Jim Solace Real Estate 2.0. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You know what? Let's give him some love on the screen. Let's give some emojis. Let's light up the chat. My man, We first off, thank you for your vulnerability. I know it's tough. Thank you for sharing. I didn't know some of those things. So my man, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this revitalization 2.0. We're here to support your journey. Your brothers and sisters on this call, and in this team are here to support you as well, my man. So thank you for being vulnerable. Thank you for opening up and thank you for sharing. Um, thank you and it. welcome to all of our other guests. Uh, wherever, wherever you guys are dialing in, we appreciate you guys being here. Let's do this, you guys. Why don't you guys go ahead and load up the chat. If you are new to our environment, go ahead and put your Instagram handle down below. That way we can all stay connected. Also, if you have any wins, any shout outs, something special that you wanna share, go ahead and put that in the chat below. And uh, that way I can share with everyone and everyone else could read that. But before we get started today, let's go to a quick teaching moment. We don't have anything that's crazy on our quick teaching moment, but I do want to make a blanket statement. And this goes for all of the offices, not just here in Oakland. Agents, team members, brothers and sisters in this village, you guys have to take personal accountability for your own stuff and the mess that you create around you. I don't think I should have to say this, but I have to say this, I'm talking open truly cans and your workstations are messy and there's a pair of high heels on the table, there's trash, like just clean up after yourself. I don't wanna have to say this again, you guys, just please all due respect, make sure that you guys clean up after yourself, take your high heels off the table, take them home with you. And if you got some funky food in the refrigerator that has onions and has been in there for a week, Every single week, we're going to throw all that stuff out. So if it's something you want to have, take it home, put it in your own refrigerator, stink up your own refrigerator with your stuff. But please, with all due respect, make sure that we are cleaning up after ourselves. 
that is it for me on that. We're going to move right into the meeting slide. So let's do this, you guys. Uh, let me go in present mode here. And boom. All right, guys. So like I said, drop your wins and your shout outs. And once again, forgive me for the background noise. They are doing tons and tons of work in the office right now. Um, welcome to our guest once again. And let's get right into productivity and escrows for the week. So you guys, for the people that are new on the phone, we always highlight people that obviously got in a contract and produced a new contract um, for the week. But we also highlight the people that are doing the work behind the scenes that are gonna ultimately lead to them getting into production. So the first category that we're gonna talk about today is hours working on your business. Um, Sylvia coming in with the week two being in number one. So Sylvia, really great job coming in at number one. Kim Tran, um, this is somebody else that has been revitalized in this business, that's really turned a corner lately, came in at number two, Gabrielle at number three, uh, Jane Hong came in at number four, and Ronnie Escalante coming in at number five. So great job to each and every one of you. Hours working in your business. This is income producing activities. These are things such as prospecting that are gonna lead you to be, get into contract. Sylvia came in at number one. Omar came in at number two, super dad. Tied for three is Kim and run on. And Gabrielle Hooks came in at number four. So congratulations and great job. Um, conversations leaderboard. Once again, Sylvia coming in at number one. Now, now I don't know, Sylvia, are you on the line today? Because I'm going to turn the mic to you after I go through this. But if you're not, I'm going to speak on your behalf. Um, Sylvia came in at number one. Um, Michael Sayich came in at number two. Jane and Omar tied for number three. And Joey, we've got to fix your, your picture. It's rotated. Uh, came in at number four, but really, really great job. And let's go to buyer showings. So check this out. I love seeing this. Uh, Kevin Bowie is obviously running a very successful business, but he's also part of the leadership team now. And he is a squad leader and he was still able to load his stats. He came in at number one. Right behind him is Amy Inhoff and Ronnie Escalante tied for number two. Demi and Bledsoe came in at number three, and Gabrielle Hooks came in at number four. So really, really great job to each of you. Let's talk about Sylvia. Sylvia, are you on the line today? Because I know Sylvia works full time. Are you there? Yeah. All right. So Sylvia, if you can't talk, you tell me yes, and I'll speak on your behalf. Oh, yes, I'm here. I'm walking. I'm, I'm, I left, I'm leaving the office. I'm here. All right, cool. So check this out, you guys. Sylvia has been at her current place of employment now for... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Sylvia, is it more than 30 years? On November 3rd, it'll be 35. 35. Hey, Sylvia, we're getting a little background noise from your mic. If you could just take oh, it away. Oh, because I'm you. walking. I'm trying okay. to go downstairs. So let me let me have you put yourself on mute. I'm going to hype you up. And when you get downstairs, take yourself off of mute. So Sylvia has been at the same spot here in Oakland for 35 years. She's had a dream to want to do this full time, be able to be in a position to focus all of her effort and energy into real estate. And uh, on November 3rd, she is officially retiring from that and walking full time into real estate. And so we are looking forward to watching her journey, watching her business take off even more. So Sylvia, do you want to just talk about that very briefly? Because um, I'm super, super stoked for you. Okay, can you hear me? Because I'm in the elevator. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what, what do you want to know? So about your journey, about your exit out of corporate America, now that you're going to be doing this full time. Um, um, okay. I'm trying to get out the building and the damn thing's not open. Okay. Um, I'm really excited. I got into real estate um, because I wanted to buy a house, but I wanted to be able to speak intelligently and understand. And um, so I've been dabbling the whole time. And... Um, I'm just ready to go. And um, I talk a lot on, I, we, we have several different work Facebook groups and I'm also on um, the board in my neighborhood. And so I've been talking to everybody and somebody on Facebook just the other day said, are you selling houses? And I said, yes, sir. He said, is that what you're doing? Because I, I've been following Kenny's lead where he said to just, um, post stuff on inner on um, Instagram and on your Facebook story. So I just been putting a whole lot of just random stuff on my Facebook story because I look at the numbers and I see that a lot of people are watching that and engaging in that. 
And so I've been talking to a lot of people lately and, um, and, and uh, the universe is also telling me to do real estate because my gentleman friend told me to follow my passion. He's all for me quitting. He works here too, but he's all for me uh, retiring to follow my passion. He said in real estate. And then right after that, um, like yesterday, a friend of mine, we were talking about jewelry and she was praying for me because she, for my real estate business. And I'm like, well, where did that come from? And we're supposed to be talking about jewelry. <laughs> so um, the universe is telling me um, to get out here and to do it. And so that's what I'm doing. That's what's, up. that's what's up. Well, Sylvia, thank you for sharing. We appreciate that. We're looking forward to you jumping full time. And I'll tell you what, you guys, and no matter what, she's working full time. We do coaching sessions three times a week. You guys know that 830 to 930 Monday, Wednesday and Friday. She's at every single coaching session. She's there to provide her, provide her thoughts or insight. And even, even if she can only chime in for a second, she's still there getting information. So Sylvia, I'm looking forward to this part of your journey. So um, awesome job and congrats. Let's turn it over to you guys really quick for community contributions. I know that there's a ton of stuff going on in your respective communities. I know that PK and Aaliyah are doing like a fall festival event in the Piedmont area. Tons of like backpack drives and you know, giveaways for bikes and things like that. Does anybody have anything that they want to speak about that they are currently working on or about to launch for community contributions? Anyone want to take the mic and talk about something that they're doing currently within their community? Going hey once. Oh, yes. Hey, Lice. Hey, Cynthia, is that you? Yes. <clears throat> Your mic is super low. Of course it is. <clears throat> How's that? That's probably Perfect. better. Way okay, better. cool. So uh, the food drives this weekend, you guys, um, if you don't know about it, go to my IG and uh, it's all over that page. So go check it out. Um, would love to see you guys. It's from noon, excuse me, it's from 9am to noon. And if you want to see how a food drive is done during these crazy times, come by and I'm down to give advice on how to set it up too. Is there anything that you need? I know that you're getting tons of stuff dropped off, but is there anything that you need? No, just uh, come by. It would be dope to see some of you guys. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome. I love that. And make sure to check out her, her Instagram. And then if you have the, um, the flyer, if you want to post it in the chat as well. Let's go over to Sylvia Flores. All right, we're going to move on. Who else had something? I heard someone else chime in. Hey, Lias, this is Kim. What's up, Kim? Hey, I'm driving to meet a seller, so I have my video turned off. But um. So I have an event that I am putting on for Aria Solano. It's going to be actually in October. We just booked the venue, but it is our first Halloween party fundraising event. And part of the proceeds is going to go to a church in November because every November we do this food pantry thing where we're stuffing bags and feeding homeless people. And of course those needy. Uh, so we decided to have a Halloween party. And if it um, is it's a good turnout. We're going to do this every year. So it's going to be October 30th. More details to come. We just booked the venue, but we're excited to have a, a fun Halloween party and fundraiser coming up. Are you guys, are you guys, and, and I love this and we want to fully support you. Are you guys stuck on that date? Yes, because we paid for it. <laughs> we are stuck on that date. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Um, so we're going to talk about something. We obviously want to support uh, Fast Real Estate. We're actually doing an event on that same day for Halloween. I'll talk to you guys about that in a minute. But um, ours is going to be a little later in the evening. So there'll be an opportunity for you guys to come to and support both. So we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. But looking forward to supporting um, that event. Who else? Sylvia, you just took yourself off the of mute. Let's hear from you about community contributions. Uh, yes, uh, we are planning uh, October 6th is EXP Community Day. And so we are planning to just get together here in the Fresno area. It's been still extremely hot over, you know, 104, 105 um, the last few weeks. And so we're going to take uh, ice cold water to the community to especially where the homeless are sitting. Hey, Sylvia, uh, Sylvia, really quick, your, your mic is going in and out, in and out. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. How, how about now? It's better. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to go out to the community and share nice cold water during this hot, hot season. So um, October 6th here in the Fresno area. Beautiful. 
Yeah, put it in Slack as well. I know that there's quite a few agents, uh, you know, that we're now connected with in Fresno. Josue is out there. I know that he's looking at building out there, supporting more of you. So um, I love this. We'd love to be able to contribute anyway. So thank you for dropping that. Anybody else have something from community contributions that they want to mention? Elias J. Singh here. J. Singh, what's up, brother? I have been uh, partnered with an organization up in here in the East Bay. In Livermore this weekend, they're having their annual gala. The group is called Narica. It is an advocacy, advocacy, excuse me, advocacy group for those leaving domestic violence situations, particularly in the South Asian communities. They wow. do a lot of great work. They do food justice, getting people emergency housing, particularly in a community where the subject is taboo. Uh, in a lot of immigrant communities, even having dialogue around this is just not happening. So I've been working with this group. In fact, I'm a second generation volunteer. My when my parents volunteered in the 90s. So wow. it's really cool to keep this going on and to uh, not continue a, a, a culture of silence around domestic violence. This weekend, we're having uh, our events. I'll put the link in the chat. It's in Livermore. It's in person. So for those who want to buy a ticket, just support. Uh, again, it would make a huge, huge difference. I mentioned Team Fast, how awesome we are. And it's also great. Uh, this going to be real. Also great marketing. So I'm putting the link in the chat and we'll see you out there. Man, awesome. I love this. And that hits home to me. You know, I grew up, unfortunately, in that type of environment with my, my, my family. And so, uh, man, I, I think this is a great idea. Love that. Love that. Who else has anything they want to talk about for our community contributions before we move on? Anybody else? All right, cool, you guys. Looking forward to supporting more and more of this. I'm so glad that we added this slide because... I didn't know all these things that you guys were a part of, and we wanted to make sure that we can do our part and, and, and support you guys on a bigger level and support the community. So love this. And once again, if you have anything, feel free to drop it in the chat or drop it in our Slack channel. Now let's go to new escrows for the week. So uh, we have Chris Sambajan getting on the board for 210,000. This dude has been blowing up this year in the Sacramento area. And then Amy Imhoff coming, uh, getting on the board for 448,000. Uh, let's go to Chris. Chris, let's talk about this deal really quick, brother. Uh, thanks, man. This is a listing that just got into contract uh, in Oliverhurst. It was a past client of mine, somebody I, I bartended with a, a while back. But uh, Oliverhurst is like this, re it's like out in the boonies. There's nothing out there. So nobody really gets multiple offers, but we got we got uh, five offers on this place and, and sold it for above asking. So pretty excited. Beautiful. And, and Chris, just for the people that, you know, aren't familiar with your journey, um, how's your year been so far? Like where are you at production wise and what are you pacing to hit for the end of the year? Oh man. Uh, yeah. The year has been pretty good. Um, I'm on, I've got uh, closed and pending. I'm at 26 for the year. Um, I don't know, on pace to maybe 30, 35. Ooh, um, I love it. Now, Chris, what's been your best year ever in business? My best year ever was 34 transactions, but those were leads that were, you know, sort of handed to me. These are all, you know, I, I'd say 90% of, of what I did this year was generated on my own. So pretty wow. stoked about that. Dude, that is incredible. And so like for the people that are really trying to develop their SOI business. Like if there's a couple of things that you feel that you've done very well this year, and if you could quantify those things, what would that be? Um, things I've done really well or, or that I'm proud of is align myself with, you know, people that are doing the type of production that I want to be doing. Um, and just seeing the, the day in day out activities that, that everybody's doing and, you know, being able to emulate that, you know, from, over here from afar <laughs> has, has definitely made a tremendous impact on my business and uh, just staying consistent. I mean, treating it like a, like a business and, and not messing around anymore. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love it. And, you know, he's got little ones, he's, he's got a family and everything, and he's still managing to, to keep it all together. So congratulations to you on an amazing year. Once again, congratulations to Amy. We're actually going to come back to Amy in a few slides. So hang tight, but congratulations to you, Amy. Um, going over to 550 to 750, 
Uh, Will got in contract for 535,000. Cynthia Peterson for 612,500. Rosa Morenos for 672,635. And then you know her, you love her, Hane coming in at 679. So let's do this. Let's turn it over to Rosa. Rosa, are you in the room today? And will you talk about this transaction? Yes, I'm here. Uh, morning, everyone. It is one of my SOIs. So it's it's extra special because it's one of my close friends here in the Bay. And I've been working with him for like three years. He finally decided to pull the trigger. And, you know, um, it's a property, it's new development in Vacaville. So it's going to take a while, but I'm really happy that I was able to help him. So beautiful. Was there ever a time where he was like, uh, like, I don't know if I want to work with you because you're my friend. Was there ever any like inclination of that type of vibe from him? Um, I, for a moment, I felt that it was because it took a while, right? Three years of nurturing yeah. this lead. So I felt like, oh, he's going to go with, you know, a friend or a family relative that has an agent, but he didn't, he decided to stick with me. So that means a lot. Beautiful. Yeah. Three years. That's a long, long nurture. So congratulations to him and congratulations to you. All right, guys, let's keep cruising. Um, so congratulations once again. So, you know, I have actually a little bit of time. I, I want to go uh, over to Cynthia as well. Cynthia, do you have time to speak about this transaction? I do. <clears throat> this was a Redfin lead, actually, that Patrick Nissim and I had been nurturing for a little bit. And man, we wrote a bajillion offers um, and they all had to have contingencies because this gal needed her protection. So we ended up finding this amazing home that had been completely remodeled and we had contingencies. So there are, they're, they're being accepted. Offers are being accepted with contingencies. It was in Oakland. It's in the Havens Court neighborhood. And it's literally, it checks off 100% of her check boxes. So this is one that just feels incredible to get for her. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, guys, let's keep cruising on. Uh, next category is 750000 to 999000 I'm actually going to turn it over to Kate has a, uh, there's actually an actual, an extra H there. Let me change that. But Kate, let's have you speak about this deal. Uh, this one was, sorry, this one was uh, my sister. Oh, really? Yeah, she wasn't, sorry. She wasn't even like really looking to buy and she thought she could never buy in the Bay Area. And I was like, you should just go, pre go get pre-approved. She did. She looked at the property. It's been on the market for like 50 days. So we got it for about a hundred thousand under what they had listed it for in Benicia. It's really cute. Um, so yeah, it's a, for my family. It's awesome. A hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Right. And now is this the sister mother of your niece? What's your niece's yes. name? Cutest. Arlo. Cutest. I only have one sister, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, congratulations. She's got to be super stoked and like how cool to be that auntie to do that for them. So yeah. Uh, congratulations. And uh, how are you. you feeling? How you doing? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. It's good to see you back in action yep. back at the office. So congratulations to you and congratulations. Sir. And, and so l let's just talk about that for a minute. You know, all family aside, like when and where did it get put into her head that she thought she couldn't qualify for a loan? Like what was that limiting belief? And like, because I know there's a lot of clients out there that might feel the same. So why did she think that? Uh, because the housing prices in the Bay Area are ridiculous. And she was seeing like everything go over 100,000, 200,000. And, you know, I think she people just don't know what they don't know. You know, you just don't know. And so I kept telling her, go get pre-approved, go get pre-approved. Like, I know how much you make and how much your husband makes, you know, you just don't know. And until you do it. And so she was really surprised to see that she was approved for what she was approved for and how easily and quickly you can actually get into contract. So. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Well, and, I, and I think that that's that stance, right? We need to be advocates and we need to educate our consumers and and I mean, yeah. pure case, this is her family. And she was still thinking, oh, I don't know if I can. And look what happened. And got a killer deal and walks into probably instant equity. So uh, right. awesome. congrats to you and your family. You. All right, let's keep, keep cruising on, you guys. Uh, let's go back here. Um, Christina Pineda, congratulations to you. Contract for 800000 Killing the game. 
Um, you know, Kenny and I are, are wanting to put your name on a billboard up there because <laughs> she's been talking about that for months and months and months. Do um, it, go. do it, do it. <laughs> um, Mark just had a birthday this week coming in with another deal for a million plus. Uh, Mark has just been an absolute terror lately. So happy birthday to you, Mark, and congratulations on another escrow. And that price point continues to go up. So uh, congratulations when you see Mark, give him a huge shout out. All right, guys. So Kenny, are you, um, are you want to know that Kenny is in, in Greece right now? But Kenny, we had some milestones this week and this last month that I know that you wanted to talk about. So let me give you uh, a hit, um, We hit a new record high with pending we're at 110 million pending and that comes off our lowest lowest uh sales week of the entire year uh at six million so big big feet uh regardless and we hit 150 sites right now which is pretty cool so we're yeah, so we're that 700 mark is right there I, I think we might fall short or, or surpass it by a little bit but i think we'll be within like maybe 20, 20 million this way or that way so, so you guys t look at this so mind you we're coming off the 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 one of our slowest weeks. Now, we, we don't worry, right? Because we know the talent that we have on this team. And we look at this as just, it was just a, a, a down week, right? It was a slower week. We had Labor Day, whatever it was. There's no pattern of consistency there. So we had nine escrows last week. We did $6.1 million in production. So one of our slowest weeks, but we have the most pending volume that we've ever had as a company at one time. And so congratulations. I know it was a slower week, but what happens is that's just setting uh, setting us up for a really strong week this week. So congratulations to you guys. This is amazing. It's incredible to be able to see, say that we hit 150 sides, 110 million in pending. There's some companies out there that are struggling to do that for a, an entire quarter. So. We see got left off the board. I, I don't know how. We, we strictly use money now, so all the escrows have to have to come through that link. So there's there's no way we would miss it if it came through. So I'm not sure. They're not. Yeah. So, so do we, everything has to go through Laura now and, and maybe there was just a lapse and um, the cutoff time is yesterday at five o'clock. And so maybe it hit her desk a little after that. And so that's how we do it. Everything is now up there. We move from an old archaic way of tracking our sales from a Google doc to actually have an system called monday.com. That's a way more accurate. So do if you're not on for this week, we'll most certainly have you your name and lights for next week. So I kind of had a feeling too that our number was down because we had some people that forgot because I'm seeing Dewey and Christina. So just a reminder to everybody, teamfastescrow.com. Anytime you get a, a new listing or a pending deal, put the details into there so you can get on the board. You can get your numbers towards all the contests or anything we're doing and you can uh, get you know paid at the end of the day properly. So <laughs> teamfastescrow.com, don't forget. Yep. And if they hadn't hit that board, that's the only reason why it is not in uh um on monday.com it's because it hasn't hit that um that link so make sure that you guys communicate with laura she'll get you guys names on the board um so let's talk about top producer dinner uh uh do we just mention it so we're doing top producer dinner from the top producers from last month we're doing at the end of the month on the 29th um this month is going to be a night in italy we're doing a full theme night we're doing a whole table full like charcuterie board different wines i'm actually picking the menu tonight or today excuse me we're going to do some um vegetarian dishes we're going to do some meat dishes we're going to do some fish dishes and it's just going to be an incredible journey so as we grow and keep on doing these top producer dinners we are we're looking forward to hearing you guys' input your thoughts when we do the 10 of 5, 10 and 5 event in december that's going to be a world tour cuisine of all kinds of different um you know uh um food categories and cuisine. So it's going to be really cool. Obviously we're a team that loves to eat. And so I'm looking forward to having more and more of these cool themes. And, and for right. those that, and just to clarify too, because I had some people reach out wondering why they were left. They didn't make it to Top Rooster. For Top Rooster, we always pick the top three in volume first. And then many times they also are the top three in units. Uh, well, we do volume first and they get that those people out of the way off the list. And then for units, we go down the list for most units. So last month, I believe we had uh, Ernesto, and I, I just I just don't recall right now. Two people have four deals, and then one person had three deals. But Laura was the agent with three deals, but was also in the most volume. Um, and then the events we're we're doing once a month at the office, uh, private catering. We're doing some like palettes and some design uh, for IG photo booth. Uh, and they're a really great way to invite other agents to our atmosphere. Um, Jen invited someone, and that 
agent is a person is interested in getting licensed and joining our team, Roxanne invites someone, a broker, and then there's a team of nine that might be moving over to EXP. So they get the events are, are huge. And I mean, it's kind of like the JVM event we had. A couple of agents showed up and they're very, very, talking to us. They're very interested in that. So we're using these uh, to allow you to invite guests. And then based on the success of this, we're also going to be holding more events, like, as Sly has mentioned, with the 10 and 5s. And um, a couple of things we're, we're going to talk about the slide, the event slide. Yeah, so you guys, uh, exciting times. I mean, um, you know, like to think that, well, this, this event is something that I earned, but now I can bring other people here that can essentially help me build my business. I can help them build their business. It's just, it's going to, it's been such a positive environment. And I'm looking forward to seeing more and more faces at the top producer dinners. All right, let's go over to Amy Imhoff. I, I wanted to, Amy Imhoff, I wanted to feature you this week because a couple of different reasons that you've stood out. Um, obviously you got a flex contract, uh, flex lead in the contract. Shout out to you and your squad. Amy Imhoff, what squad are you on? Um, we're in the extreme squad. Wait, wait, wait. You got to throw it up. How do you throw up extreme? Okay. All right. There it is. There. Cynthia's like, I just want to be able to do this. And so uh, congrats on getting your lead in the contract. Um, you're committed to your success. I've been seeing some really cool videos. I remember when you first started making videos, you weren't looking at the camera. There was some shyness. You know, and you've like found your stride and starting to find your voice, super coachable, super mom, and you've showed extreme growth. So I wanted to turn it over to you and um, just give you a round of applause for being fast of the week. Anything you want to say? Well, thank you. I appreciate being highlighted for the week. It must be a really slow week then. <laughs> So, uh, but thank you. Um, yeah, I obviously have really tried with the video and I'm, I'm committed for sure. So you'll be seeing a lot more videos uh, like similar to the ones you've seen because I think that's, that's my niche type of video. Like I don't, I can't be off the cuff, off the fly. I need to have be in front of the computer with a teleprompter and then just run with it and send it to the editor to make it shiny and nice. I love it. And Amy, let's never discount your success <laughs> and when you get honored. And, by, and you know me, I don't pull any punches, <laughs> right? I tell you how it is, how I'm feeling, and, and I keep it very direct. You, you've earned the spotlight. Cynthia has great things to say about you as well. I love your contributions. I absolutely, and here's why. Kenny and I saw one of your videos that you did a couple months ago. It was like, you're out in the community, you're saying something, there's like a sign behind you, or like at a park. And I was like, she needs to look at the camera. And then the next one came out, it was like your probate one. And like, you had an official background and like, it was like professionally done, like literally turned it around in such a positive way. And you got a flex lead in contract. So that's, that's a huge accomplishment. So congrats to you. Nonetheless, own the moment. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, let's continue on. we got a couple of things to talk about. Um, so obviously you guys know about the weekly schedule. If you guys do not have the weekly schedule, please make sure that you guys have that. You guys are attending different events. Group coaching now has grown from anywhere to 50 to 60 people on an average three times a week. I want to thank you guys for attending. We're doing incredible work there. I'm seeing tons and tons of growth. So highly recommend, even if you're a top producer or if you're a producer that's up and coming or you're brand new to this environment, it's open to everything and it's open to everyone. So I want people to come and enjoy and provide your insight and your thoughts and let's mastermind together. That's what that environment's all about. So I want to remind everybody on the 22nd, I forgot to put this on the calendar, but we're going to get the official flyer out. On the 22nd in Concord, we are doing our fast orientation. Um, it's going to be at our new training center from 11 to 2 o'clock. I may ask for some volunteers from maybe a mentor or two to come through talk about their experience. I might have a top producer come talk about their experience. Um, but if you are newer to the company within the last 60 days, I highly recommend that you come together with us, break bread and make sure that you have all of your foundational things out of the way that we can start growing your business because we have 109 days until the new year. So we wanna make sure that all these things are done and you turn that calendar ready, fresh and with tons of momentum. Um, all right, so let's continue on. We got a couple other new events coming up. So John, I'm actually gonna turn it over to you to talk about this new happy hour event that we have September 23rd in Brentwood. So Johnny Boy, let me turn it over to you. Yeah, for sure, thanks man. So um, if you, you might know, but we have a lender partner up in Brentwood, it's Cal Financial. 
we're going to be doing events a lot more regularly as as things are you know getting a little bit safer to do so we're going to start with this one next thursday from four to seven at brentwood craft and cider i haven't been there it sounds like a really cool place um great beers great ciders and and sounds like they have some good snacks and appetizers too so we'll, let's try to get some good attendance up there and, and show out for our new lender partner invite up there. Guests, you can invite, invite guests too in East County. So I've been- Yeah, and this, is, this is like an industry event. So agents that are with other offices, uh, you know, just bring bring people we want to just get a good turnout. So it's not just for the team. It's an industry event for, for anyone in the area that can make it just pop in whenever for, for a quick beer or come hang out for a couple hours. But let's, let's, let's try to get a good turnout. Me and Elias will be there. Uh, I know Lisa was rallying people from Oakland, so I look forward to seeing a lot of you there. Yep, and so we are. Um, there's also an ARI event that that night as well at Plank, and so we know obviously we're going to be at two different places. We might try to shoot from Brentwood and then come back out here to Plank, but nonetheless, it's all come together. This is a great sponsored event. Um, you know, Cal Financial is partnering with us for our office in, in Brentwood. So definitely looking forward to having them be in our corner, similar to what JVM is doing for us. So let's come out, let's support them, and let's bring some people that we know in the industry out there that need some better support and need to be associated with a really cool office and environment. Uh, so Halloween party. So we are having a Halloween party here at Fast Headquarters. Now, this is going to be a different type of event because we are having kids come from four to seven. Uh, we're gonna have different trick or treat stations. We're gonna have a kid's costume contest. We're gonna have this whole all mapped out throughout the office. They're gonna come in through a certain door. And they're gonna hit all of these stations for trick or treating. Then they're gonna come out to the main floor. We're gonna be playing like Thriller on the big screen. Ah, perfect, we got it up right here. Yeah, this is a mock-up I, I did like five seconds ago. So we're, we're thinking of people um, coming in from on the left. And then the cool part about this event, it's not a real estate event. I mean, it's not an EXP event. It's not a Team Fast event. It's, it's, it's more like a community event. From four to seven, we're going to have um, kids come in. We're completely tricked the place out. Because um, I'm not sure you guys know this, but our office used to be a nightclub, a uh, Kimball's nightclub. So we want to kind of make make use of the space, decorate with skeletons and cobwebs and all that cool stuff. Um, and as the kids come in, they can drop out each uh, trick or treat station and then walk the entire office and then in the middle. Well, we'll do something special for them, maybe like pumpkin painting or something. We're, we're just still planning this out. So, so this is going to be from four to seven for kids. And then right after uh, that, from 7 11, it would just be a costume party for us. And we'll, we'll also have photo booths and uh, other stuff there, a costume party contest for the kids. And a costume party for us, and then this is also another event that uh, you're you're welcome to invite guests. It could just it could just be friends too; it doesn't have to all be realtors. And so, to answer your question, Christina, yeah, we could do a dog costume as well. So feel free to bring your furry animals and bring or your, your dogs, like bring them out. Absolutely. So this is going to be a cool event. Like you guys can bring anybody, invite anybody in the industry that has kids, and then we're going to do it. Like a, Christina, a, yeah, dog. Yeah, we can do the dogs yeah. at the same time. Uh, yeah, I love it. And then we're going to do adults from like um, seven and to 11 and onward. So we're going to have another contest for all the adults. We'll have some fun, but this is going to be a really exciting event. We need some volunteers though. Uh, we're looking for about 15 to 20 volunteers to work the trick or treat stations to hand out candy, have some fun, maybe do a little scare into the kids, have some fun with them. And then we need about five volunteers that want to be on a committee to help us set this whole thing up. So if you're interested, make sure to hit Kenny and I in Slack. That way we can get you guys involved and we'll start planning this event out. But if you haven't been to our new space in Jack London Square, it's 215 Washington Street. It's right in Jack London. This place is incredible. Um, Mark had an event. Dewey's fiance is going to be throwing an event here. You guys are open to use this space for any type of events that you guys want to move uh, do moving forward. You can do that at any of our offices. So I'm um, looking forward for us all to come together and have a really, really cool Halloween event here. Bring the kids, bring the family, bring the dogs, and let's have some fun together. Um, so that is going to be Saturday, October 30th. We're going to make sure to have more correspondence going out on that. Um, Kim, we had already planned this, and so unfortunately it coincides with the Solano County event. However, there'll still be some time for you guys afterwards to come here. Here's what I think, uh, Kim. I think you bring everyone that's at the Solano County event, and you bring them out to Oakland, and let's make this a huge, huge event. So to answer your question, Lauren, our event for Halloween is Saturday the 30th from 4 to 11 and onward. The fast orientation 
is September 22nd from 11 to 2. That's in Concord. Be on the lookout for that flyer that's coming in the next couple of days and will be coming from Molu. Um, so is this a good idea? Do you guys like it? We're, I'm already starting to think about our costumes and what we're going to be. Uh, we have some cool ideas. But uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. Any, uh, anybody want have anything to say? You want to hop in? No? All right, cool. All right, let's cruise on. All right, so. Uh, hi, it's Michelle. Hi, Michelle. How you. are you? Hi, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, I was just wondering if you guys need candy donations for the Halloween party. Um, no, but I mean, I'm sure we would okay. take them. <laughs> okay, just checking. Yeah. I mean, this anything would help. But if, but if you're interested in contributing and you want to be part of the committee and help us like put all this plan together, that'd be great. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'm sure there's some companies around here that might want to, you know, co-sponsor or bring something or maybe they have a trick-or-treat station that's set up with, you know, I don't know, like we, we can really yeah, do I like that idea a lot. Maybe get some small businesses. They totally. can get in front of people and kids. Totally. I mean, it's good for their business. So I think that... Um, I'm looking for right. whoever wants to contribute and be on this committee. It doesn't only have to be five. We just need at least five. We need 15 volunteers or 15 to 20 volunteers to hand out candy. But this should be fun. Uh, I've done stuff like this before, but never in this magnitude. So I'm really stoked about this. Um, anybody else have any thoughts? No? Okay, cool. Let's uh, continue cruising on. So um, you guys, the, the New Year's right around the corner. So we wanted to ask this question. Um, so we have 109 days left until 2022. So my question to you guys, as we're getting up to the last final months of the year, um, uh, what will you, what will you accomplish before the new year, right? There's tons of things that we say we need to do to get in order, to get our system in alignment, all these different things, right? So I wanted to hear from you or light up the chat. What are some things that you feel that you need to accomplish before 2022 comes along? So anybody want to grab the mic and talk about it? Or does anybody else want to put something in the chat? Let's open it up to you guys to say, what do you want to accomplish before 2021 ends? Anybody? Thoughts? Going around the room. Go ahead, Jesse. I think for, for me, um, my ult I guess my goals, um and what i plan to accomplish uh well i guess most immediately is for me to be more consistent in uh my social media posts and and getting people engaged um and also kind of escaping that kind of secret agent life that i've been living yeah um um also i guess um my other goal is to get one closing to get at least one, a uh, couple contracts in escrow uh, by the end of this year, which I feel like, you know, I'm definitely capable of doing. I just got to kind of grind it out and commit to doing it. Love it. I love it, Jesse. Um, Cynthia put here, attract three more agents and help a total of six mentees by the end of the year. I uh, hit my goal of 20 sales. I think personally that you're going to kill that 20 sales goal. So um, good stuff. I love it. Sandy Cruz said, close my first three deals get to 500 followers on IG. I love it. I love it. And you know what, Sandy, you already have a cool brand in this, like this roller skating vibe. I and mean, if you guys see her uh, new headshot, she's got like her roller skates on her shoulder. Like who else would let you do that at their brokerage, right? It's just like the epitome of who we are. So Sandy, I love that. Love what you're doing. Um, Drea says, get licensed. That's right. I love that. Drea, what else you guys, what else do you want to accomplish in the next 109 days? right? We got so much uh, coming in, in 2022. For my personal life, learn to swim. And for my business, close two deals I am currently working on. I love it. Christina Darrow, she's uh, passed my Nevada test. She wants to be this, this uh, jet setter and go from California to Nevada and, and, and run her business. I love it. Get my farm up and running consistently. Let's go Pooey. Love this, dude. I love it. Um, sell all my listings. I love it. Uh, December, create my first business plan, never done one before, and be more consistent with social media and posting and reaching out to my sphere. Love it. On um, Gabrielle, two listings and two closed escrows. I love this. I love this. Um, dope headshot. King's got some competition. Now, I think Sandy's better than King's, but really, really good. I love it. Um, Shayla says, I want to get buyer's consultation done 
and get on a Zillow Flex team. That's right. I love it. Here for support. Get on Zillow Flex team. Lauren says that. Kylie says, I close trans, uh, one close transaction by the end of the year. Love it. Love it. Um, three community events from Michael Spivey, Kenny Trunk, 450 downline. Love this. Love this. Love this. Love this. You guys absolutely love it. And, and let's say here, Jay says, farm in my neighborhood, being physically active every single day. God, man, so much of us let that go by the wayside during pandemic, right? And it was hard for us to like get back into that rotation and that, and that, and that vibe. I love this. Oh, we're, uh, we're getting a gym at the office. So I know. the team is coming. We're buying 500, five to 100 pound free weights and then some bands. So we're, we're going to trick out that back room. Whoa, Eric. Bro. Whoa. <laughs> Extend into San Francisco market. Lauren, you're living in San Francisco now, right? So that just makes total sense. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, I just um, have to do the process of doing that. So I'm happily in the East Bay market and um, working on getting the SF MLS extension happening. I already talked to Molly. So yes, yes. Doing absolutely. that. So, hey, holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because we need more San Francisco partners. We've got Eric out there. We've got Rose out there, Ronnie Escalante, a few other agents. So we're loving to blow up that market. And then we're going to get you guys a sick office out there. Um, so let's see, reach 500 subscribers on my YouTube channel. That's from Ernesto. I love this. I love this. Um, I'll be at the office working out, ready to work out. <laughs> right. I'm looking forward to having the gym here, man. There's no excuses, right? I'm in the office all day. Cool. Well, you're in the office. There's a gym two feet away. Do some workouts, right? I love this. So you guys start thinking where do, about- Where do I shower? In, in the bathroom, in the, in the sink, do a hoe bath? Hey, so bro, you, there, you take there's- take a scooter like, to the old office at Spaces and they have showers there and then you, you take the scooter back. Yep, perfect, perfect. There you go. And there's mouthwash and yodering and ax for everyone. If maybe you didn't work uh, or didn't shower. Uh, but here's the thing, you guys, 109 days, I'm not a believer in resolutions, New Year resolutions. I'm all about momentum, right? These are things that we should just be doing, but we should be reminded of it. It should create some pressure on you now. So you're not like, oh my God, it's December 15th. I'm going I'm to start my resolution. Nah, that's not what the, the New Year's about. You guys got to start now. You guys got to start thinking about these things. Start closing the doors. Start, if you haven't taken your headshot, go take your headshots. If you don't have your business cards, like what are you waiting for? I was on, I saw a coaching thing the other day and it said like, what are you waiting for? Right? There's so many things that we drag on or procrastinate on. It's like, what are we waiting for? You guys are now running a multi-million dollar business. Own it. Look at Chris Amajon. He's like, when I said, I have to look at this as a true business, that's how you guys have to look at it. You get a couple contracts, you guys are running a multi-million dollar business. Own that. Own that. And say, you know what? Who do I need to be in 2022? How do I need to show up to the world? How do I contribute more? How do I give more of myself? How do I fucking throw procrastination out the window and absolutely crush 2022? Eric King, I'm going to shout him out right now. He's number two in the company right now for, I think it was it, units. He's top three in volume, has quadrupled his business, and is continuing, continuing, continuing to grow. So Eric King, I'm going to ask you, my man. Knowing where you're at for the year, what does what needs to happen in your world for you to be ready for 2022? Yeah, that's something uh, I've been actually thinking about a lot. Um, so my goal for this year is to hit 30. I think I'm at like 18 right now. Uh, so I got 12 more to go. But, um, you know, I think it's just, I, you know, I tell my squad this all the time. And I heard this from my coach, but, you know, it's about focusing not on the end goal, but on the activities that's going to get you there. Um, so you know, constantly I have to wake up and remind myself that, you know, I need to, to do what it takes to hit that goal. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, thinking about my goal for next year already. Um, and, you know, kind of thinking big and outside the box, you know, I've been thinking about maybe hiring an assistant, you know, um, you know, and maybe starting a little mini team. I don't know, you know, whatever it's going to take that to surpass my goal this year. But right now I'm focusing on trying to hit my goal for this year. So, yeah, yeah let's get yeah. it. You. So ben, I could send that over to you, bro. That way you have it, um, you know, because you're, you're most certainly up there as a, as a top producer. So I'll send that over to you. But yeah, you guys, let's let's start focusing on, on, on the new year now. 
right? What we're going to do is probably in mid-November, we're going to do business planning workshops. Some will be on pers in person, some will be via Zoom. I'll probably have some of the squad leaders as well as mentors do breakout sessions. We'll be able to really strategize and put our business plans together, do our goals, our personal goals, our business goals. Like I want us to walk into 2022 with some swag, like I'm ready right? I'm not at a stop sign. I got momentum. I got motion. I've done all these things in 2021 that are already going to lead to my success in 2022. And I'll tell you what, you guys, if you're not where you need to be right now, if you're grinding, if you're making the phone calls, if you're attending the open houses, if you're following up, it's coming. It's coming. I promise you, if you're doing the prospecting events now and that you're disciplined enough to keep that part of your routine and you're consistent about it, I'll tell you what, you guys, those things are going to start popping off. Think about it, you guys, Christmas is just a couple months away, right? If you were thinking, oh, I'll prospect tomorrow, I'll prospect tomorrow, and you put shit off, think about how that can potentially affect your Christmas time, right? I want you guys to chill for Christmas, spend some time with the baby, spend some time with the, the loved ones, have some holiday time where you can just sit back and drink some nice drinks and have some food and get fat for a couple of days. That's what I want for you guys, right? Be able to do the work now so you can reward yourself moving forward and have a true sense of clarity moving into the 2022. So you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you contribute. Um, I'm going to be in the office here for a little while if you guys want to roll through, looking forward to seeing you. It is a little noisy if you guys are coming here to the office, so you might have to go and work in some of the conference rooms. If not, the, head over the phone, space. The two uh, phone booths are being built this very minute, I think. Yeah, they're, 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 right. they're in the pro One just got fully put together. <laughs> And they have two more or one more that they're working on right now. So it's noisy here on the floor, but you guys can still roll through and work in the individual offices. So um, thank you guys for everything that you represent. Thank you. Even though we had a slow week, we have a, a hit a record for the most pending volume. So uh, let's raise the intensity for this next week and let's get back to our normal 15 to $22 million in production for the week. So have a great week. We'll see you guys all soon. Bye now. Thanks, Elias.